Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be doing an update on the Relative Strength Index, or RSI. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the sale on the premium list. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. You'll get access to weekly reports and videos, a Telegram alerts channel, Telegram chat room, a risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app, and more. Let's go ahead and do an update here uh, because we just posted a video about this, you know, within the last day or two. And considering the move that Bitcoin saw over the last 24 hours, it might be interesting to revisit our daily relative strength index or daily RSI. Now, one of the interesting things uh, with this indicator, and we've been following, I mean, obviously we've talked about the relative strength index for, you know, for a long time on the channel. People have been covering this for, for, for you know, years and years and years and years and years. Um, but one of the reasons we, were, we really started talking about it back in, in February was noticing that, hey, we're starting to have lower highs, okay? We're starting to have lower highs. So while we are putting in higher highs with the price, the relative strength of each move is getting lower and lower and lower. Okay, so this one was lower, so a lower high, again a lower high, a lower high, and we you know we keep coming down. This one didn't even make it up to the top, but it was still higher than this one. So we just kept on we kept on putting in lower high after lower high after lower high with regards to the relative strength index, not necessarily directly with you know direct to the, the actual price because for a while we were moving up. But if you remember when we were moving up over here, it was like five, uh, like 3K, right? No one's getting out of bed for a 3K move. It was like 58K. We came back down in 61K and came back down in 64K. Uh, so each of these moves, you can see the relative strength of that move was getting lower and lower and lower. And we've been talking about this since February, okay? The trend started in January. We first noticed the lower high in February. We've been talking about it for about half a year now. And what's interesting today, or at least in the last 24 hours or so, is that we have broken through it. We've broken through it. I mean, this is, we've moved above it. I mean, we, we put in a higher high um, from, I mean, it's higher than the one we had on July 11th, than the one we had on July 4th, and then the, and the move we had on June 30th. It's even about on par with the move we had on June 15th, which actually took us to around $41,000. So that's how strong the current move is right now. Now, not to say that we have to go to 41K, it's just, all, I mean, of course, it's all relative, right? It's a relative strength index. Uh, now, some of you might not be aware of what the relative strength index is. Um, and, I, you know, I'm not going to go into a, a long discussion here. But again, if you just want to know the math behind it, I mean, it's just the relative strength of the price of Bitcoin. It's all with respect to its own price. But if you just want a brief, some brief insight into it, what you, one thing you could do is you, you you can just basically go to the source code of the indicator, okay? So going to the source code is fairly simple. You just go over here, you go to source code, and then you just scroll this here and you can see the source code of the indicator. And that way you can try and, and, and work out uh, what's going on. You can also copy this and, and change some of the inputs if you want, like you could change the 14 to a different, um, uh, a different number as well if you wanna actually get some different parameters in there. But obviously you can do that with any indicator uh, that's open source on TradingView. So are we out of the woods yet? Well, I mean, it's certainly a point in favor of the bulls. Um, as you guys know, uh, a few months ago, back in, in May, I said I expect a, a three to six month bear market. We've had a fairly long downtrend, um, but at least the bulls are, are, are showing up to some degree, one point for the bulls. Now, is it too early to scream victory? Probably, is it too early to assume we're gonna go to new all time highs immediately? I, I would say so because not only do we still technically have a downtrend in the price, okay, so let's just switch this over to say like the four hour time frame and and draw our you know our general downtrend here. You know, not only are we still in a general downtrend against the price, okay, we did break it on the daily RSI. We need to put a new we need to put in a new local local high on the price. Okay, and, and again, the way you want to draw the imaginary line is somewhat subjective. But the point is, is uh, just a few, a week or two ago, we were able to go up to 34.7. And then before that, we were at 3,500 or 35,000. And before that, you know, 35.9. Uh, 30, and then before that, 36.5. Okay, so we're just continuing to put in lower high. 
after lower high after lower high. And right now we're at 33.7. So the question now becomes, well, can we actually break above and go put in a new higher high? Okay, so that would probably be the next area to look at. We would also wanna break through the 50-day SMA. Uh, we can go switch over to the daily time frame. So we would wanna see a new, a new high or a new, a move past the 50-day SMA, which we haven't tested in quite some time. We did hold it as support a couple of times when things were overly bullish. We held it as support at around 30K. We held it as support at around 51K. Now we're approaching it as potential resistance at 34K. We'll see if we can break it or not. It's actually currently at a modest $34,325. The 100-day... The is a lot higher at $41,281. But of course, these are, 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 you know, are, are very small stones that we'll have to watch if in fact we can put in a higher high. So keep your eyes out for it. Let's see if we can put in a higher high. If not, then the downtrend continues. Um, and if the downtrend does continue, it, you know, I mean, we could go back and test our, our relative strength index line, okay? So like one, one possible scenario. And remember, this these don't necessarily mean they reflect the exact price because again, we were putting in lower highs well before the price actually started going down. It was sort of an indicator showing you that the market is becoming a little bit weaker. Obviously, we weren't using that necessarily to say we needed a pullback. We were more so saying, look, the market cycle ROI is ahead of schedule. It makes sense to get a pullback. So if this is our line, right, if this is our line and we are unable to immediately put in a higher high, then perhaps we come back down and test this as support and then we and then we try to break out or something that's just something to keep in mind if you guys like the content make sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and remember to check out the sale on the premium list you can find a link to that in the description below you can lock in the lower rate as long as you do not cancel thank you for tuning in subscribe click the bell icon to turn on your notifications and i will see you next time bye